by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may you be accepted across the globe. Hi, child of God, you are welcome to Believers Global TV. On this channel, we create Christian content that will help you in your spiritual growth, ranging from powerful word of God, powerful prayer sessions, night videos, and many more. All the contents that we create on this channel are purely Christian content, and I encourage you, if you're a believer, subscribe to this channel. The Lord told me when I started ministry that I would never lack help in my life, and He has kept that word. Let me speak that word to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak over you by the message of God. You will never lack help for the rest of your life. You will never lack help us for the rest of your life. You will never lack help for the rest of your life. You will never lack help us for the rest of your life. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Your speed in destiny is to the degree to which you are accepted. If you are not accepted, you cannot make progress in life. I'm praying for you. The same way God gave me global acceptance, I pray for a preacher in the name of Jesus. I pray for a businessman. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, may you be accepted across the globe. May your ministry be accepted across the globe. May your business be accepted across the globe. May your person be accepted across the globe. In the name of Jesus. One day I was praying and I came across that scripture that the Lord told Moses. He says, the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Listen, and I remember the Lord telling me that day. He said, in ministry, never try to fight any battle it doesn't matter who rises up against you there is a covenant that i have with you that i will defend you with my jealousy you always hear me say that the god of my covenant this is where it came from that i have a covenant with you that i will stand by you as a mighty terrible one in the name of jesus i pray for you may this covenant begin to work for you that anybody who rises against you, against your reputation, against your relevance, against your influence, before their eyes, God will bring them down. Before their eyes, God will lift you up. Before their eyes, God will bring them down. In the name of Jesus. Number three. I was studying one time and I saw where he told them, he said, when I sent you, lackest thou anything? When I saw the gravity of the work that God was committing to my hands, I knew that they would need resources, both human and material resources. And I said, Lord, I want to do ministry with integrity. I don't want to have to manipulate anyone for money. I don't want to have to manipulate anyone to come in terms of membership. And that was when I learned about the power to prosper and the grace called favor. That favor can come upon a man. The power to prosper can come upon a man and redefine your finances. I tell you in the name of Jesus and without any sense of humility, this ministry does not owe anybody one naira, dead or alive. We don't borrow, we don't beg, I don't borrow, I don't beg, it's part of our covenant with God. I'm praying for you. God who has shown mercy in the name that is above all names and by the power that raised Christ from the dead, step into a level of supplies. Supplies by wisdom, supplies by favor, supplies by wisdom, supplies by favor. I say it again, supplies by wisdom supplies by favor in the name of Jesus Christ before needs arise let the supply be waiting listen in your lifetime you would do multi everything was about money and I did not want to be a preacher like that I didn't want to be incapacitated financially but I didn't want my life and this ministry to be all around money I said God you must teach me those who missed it where did they miss it so that we can correct it 
and God said the thing is I can give you things but let it not get to your heart and let it not become your emphasis let Jesus remain your emphasis while the blessings help you announce him by the time you leave Jesus and you start announcing the blessings, it turns to idolatry. I said, that's it. I found the key. Let me pray for you. While God increases you, these things will not get to your heart. While God increases you, money and fame and power will not get to your heart. It will not distract you in the name of Jesus. But I, hear me, if you are part of this vision, I speak to you, you will lay gold as dust. Oh, secrets will be shown you. You will see things others don't see. He will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is a hear ye him anointing that is responsible for influence even global influence a product can carry that grace a person can carry that grace a ministry can carry that grace i was not born global nobody's born global you define your possibilities by the graces that come upon you i pray for you right from where you are in the name that is above all names may the nations hear your voice right from where you are may the nations hear your voice May they hear your voice in ministry. May you hear your voice as a business person, as a career person. Every power territorially, every power foundationally that fights the voices of people, stopping them from rising, silencing their voices upon the mountains so that it will not be heard. I curse those voices now. I curse those spirits now. I curse those influences now. In the name of Jesus. There are angels mandated to herald men, herald visions. Revelations 1 verse 1. He sent it and signified it by his angel. He sent it and signified that message by his angel. There are angels that herald anointings. They herald the coming of men. They make territories accept men. They take the glad tidings of the hand of God upon your life. Publicity is a spiritual affair. It's not by posters and billboards alone. No, in the name of Jesus. Where you have not gone to, may your name get there. Where you have not gone to, may your teachings get there. Where you have not reached, may your products reach there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Listen to me. I learned from Dr. Miles Munro that influence is a very great key in commanding kingdom advance. I have taught you what is influence. The ability to make men buy into your ideologies, your beliefs, without using force or cruelty. Can I tell you? If you lack this grace for influence, it doesn't matter how right you are, nobody will listen to you. Hallelujah. You don't have to manipulate people to believe you. You don't have to manipulate people to hear you. You don't have to manipulate people and say, don't listen to this one, listen to it. No, no, you don't have to. When that grace is on you, that grace can cause men to listen to you. I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus. Like you have never seen, you will command the loyalty of kings. You will command the loyalty of nobles. You will command the loyalty of both great and small, male and female, in the name of Jesus. Men will look for you. They will come to you in the cave of Adullam and they will say, be Lord over us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Two more prayers. The grace for humility. Listen, let me tell you this. I learned early in life the danger of, of pride. That it is the one thing that can make God fight you. People have done all kinds of things against God in the Bible. He forgave them. But the one thing that God does not tolerate 
is pride. That God himself resisted, opposes the proud and gives grace to the humble. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, your lifting will not be why you go down. I say it again. Your lifting will not be why you go down. Your rising will not be why you fall. Let the spirit of pride die from your life now. Let the spirit of boasting and bragging vain glory, let it die now. The grace for humility, receive it. Humility is not rejecting what God has done. No. Humility is the ability to decrease and project Christ as the basis for all you are and all you have become. Let that grace rest upon you. Final prayer and we're done. The grace for honor. Let me tell you what honor is. Honor means to be perceived correctly and to be rewarded to match your sacrifice. If the grace for honor is not on you, you may be rewarded, but you will not be rewarded to match the level of your sacrifice. There are people like that. They are not promoted to match their sacrifice. You see that now? It's not that their hands are empty, but they know they are far greater than that level. It says, thou shalt take Joshua, the son of Nun, in whom is the spirit, and thou shalt lay your hands upon him. Verse 20 says, thou shalt put some of thine honor upon him, that all the congregation of Israel might be obedient unto him. I'm praying for you. Let honor rest on you. Let honor rest on you. You have honored Jesus. You have honored me. Let honor rest on you. As a man of God, let honor rest on you. In the name of Jesus. It is not just men that will look for you. Governments will look for you. I say it by the message of God. Governments will look for you. Their parliaments will look for you. Institutions will look for you. Nobles will look for you. Gentiles will look for you. Even those you are looking for will look for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because you came here to celebrate with me. If Christ tarries, even 30 years after now, you will still be standing. You will still be standing. You will not fall by the wayside. It will never be said you, were, you once were great. It will never be said you once were spiritual. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God has declared that this is our year of exceeding great rewards. I pray for you. Whatever has not entered your hand and is still hanging in the spirit, I declare let it enter your hand this week. Let it enter your hand this week. Let it enter your hand this week. As God lifts me, may he lift you. As God helps me, may he help you. As God shows me mercy, may he show you mercy. In the name of Jesus. Anybody waiting for your downfall will wait forever. I say it again. Anyone waiting for your downfall will wait forever. But as for you, keep going higher. Keep going higher from glory to glory from grace to grace the lord increase you more and more you and your children in the name of jesus give jesus a big hand clap give him a big hand clap god bless you hallelujah joshua nimax selman was born 25th of june 1980 in zaria kaduna state nigeria also known as Apostle Joshua, Selman is a Nigerian gospel minister, conference speaker, and televangelist. He is the founder and senior pastor of the Eternity Network International, ENI. The ENI have a program called Koinonia, a gospel fellowship held weekly in Samaru, Zaria, Kaduna State, as well as in Abuja, Nigeria. Here are five fascinating facts about Apostle Joshua Selman. Number one, a spiritual leader. Apostle Joshua Selman is a renowned Nigerian gospel minister, 
televangelist, and founder of Eternity Network International, ENI, and the Koinonia Megachurch. Number two, an inspiring teacher. He is known for his insightful and impactful teachings on the Word of God, which have endeared him to millions of followers worldwide. Number three, an author and a writer. Apostle Selman has written several best-selling books, including The Majesty of God's Power and The Beauty of God's Presence. Number four, a music minister. He is also a gifted music minister and has released several worship albums, including Your Majesty and The King's Majesty. Number five, a conference speaker. Apostle Selman is a sought-after conference speaker and has ministered at various events and conferences globally, sharing the message of God's love and redemption. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and smash the like button. You can also do the work of an evangelist by sharing this video to at least two people you love most. See you in our next video. God bless you. Thank you.